Let me show you another amazing case of Elsa Pace. That's a 19-year-old patient who came to us with a progressive keratoconus. Here you can see the typical topographical image and his acuity with glasses was 20%, so 2100 or 0.2. Now let me show you what we did. So what you see here is the cornea of the patient before Elsa Pace on the left and two years after Elsa Pace. As you can see, the astigmatism now looks like a spindle. That's symmetric astigmatism. Vision has increased from 20% with glasses to 80% with glasses. And this happens because we push down the tip of the cone and then at the same time, the upper cornea comes up. That's the coupling effect. That's a really amazing effect for the benefit of the patient. Now, how does the patient see? So what is the visual impression of the patient? How is the visual quality? On the left side, you see the visual quality of the patient before as a pace with glasses and a pupil of four and a half millimeter in diameter. And that's typical for a 19 year old during daytime. So on the right side, you see the same visual impression with a four and a half millimeter pupil during daytime two years after Elsa Pace, and that's a massive difference. And here is the proof. You see the total corneal thickness in the upper left before Elsa Pace and on the right side two years after Elsa Pace. And in the lower left you see the difference which is between 20 and 30 micron. And that's a typical difference even for standard conventional cross-linking because the packing density of the collagen fibers increases so the cornea appears thinner without any tissue removal. Last question, did I do this in a 19 year old? And the answer is yes. I would never perform an exime laser in a 19 year old because that person is simply too young yet and the keratoconus is still too active. But instead of stabilizing the patient with conventional cross-linking, I perform Elsa Pace. So I stabilize and I improve vision with glasses without sacrificing any corneal tissue, no tissue removal.